Hello, Cancer. This is all about you. Whew. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars. Wherever Cancer influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to ten days from whenever you see this video. So that's why I took the time stamp. That's why I took the times off these videos because it really does apply to whenever it comes into your life. So please do look for a, an extended video link. Um, I'm actually starting to put the links um, not only below in the description box, but I'm putting them in, um, I'm putting them in one of the comments too, so that you can access the links from mobile. Cause I just realized that for mobile users, you're not able to access the links uh, from the description box. Little things that we learn as we go. What is the crowning energy for Cancer? I want to see what is going to pop out for us. I'm not going to lie to you. I was afraid. <laughs> I, I like curious. I want to do this reading. I can't wait to do this reading. But simultaneously, I'm like, you know, like, do I, do I really want to know? I do really want to know. What is crowning your energy? Crowning your energy. Cancerian crowning energy. Nothing is flipping over. Oh, we are being tight. We are being tight with our emotions. Tight. Crowning our energy. Nothing is wasted. Six plus three is nine. Oh, something is coming to the surface. It is garbage, baby. It is garbage. But something that we're digging through, maybe even like trash in the no, treasure in the trash heap. Garbage. Something is um something valuable is coming to the surface of a trashy situation, a trash situation, a situation that maybe we disposed of something, uh, we threw the baby out with the bath water, but the baby came back. It's like figuring out what is valuable in, in the midst of so much chaos and craziness or what seems to be wasted, wasted energy, wasted effort, but it's not, it's not a waste. And Vulture has such a wonderful cleansing energy. They are the natural recyclers of the natural world. Uh, yeah, I mean, I get it, Cancerians. It eats roadkill. But what it teaches us is there is some sort of, there's value in everything. And even though it may not be what we want, there is there is something to take from it. And especially us um, finding it so, oh, hold on, hold on, hold up. Announcement, public service announcement to all Cancerians. The moon has entered Scorpio. So... This is very scorpionic energy. It's a very remember that the even even something that has died has value. It has energy somehow to be broken down and to feed what is coming from it. You know, understand? So that's not just vulture energy. That is, you know, um, earth and soil. It's like how do those nutrients get into the soil? Well energies of things that have passed and become the soil again. There's all these beautiful mechanisms that are working underneath the surface to ensure that life goes on. So this is about hope and knowing that yes, life goes on even after roadkill. Central energy, embrace the in-between. This is flamingo energy. This is Libra energy. Why? Because it's got to do with balance. Flamingos use balance very cleverly to help conserve energy. So right now, I can tell you this reading or the next seven days, we're going to be challenged to find different ways of maintaining energy. This world is going to try to suck it out of us. I'm just going to let you know that right now. It's going to test us. And I think primarily it's going to test us by making us our own worst enemy. Bear with me making us our own worst enemy and trying to like get too much of us or make us spin our wheels to do nothing. The answer to us this week is don't allow it to happen. Don't spin your wheels. Like you remember that scene from um, Princess Bride where Inigo Montoya is battling the Dread Pirate Roberts and all of a sudden he just, he just, they just stop and he like puts his, throws his hand sword into the air and catches it in the other one and says, I'm not left-handed, you know what I'm saying? You know, and then he starts fighting with his right hand, like full force. That's kind of the energy that I want you to think of. It's like, it's like, don't fight with your dominant hand this coming week. Don't lay all your cards on the table. Don't 
um, put all the effort in and go steam hole, like, like all, all the guns in, because it's almost like you're being tempted. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, people know how emotionally emotional we are. And it's like, they're going to test you by pushing your emotional buttons to see how they can you up right? Manipulating, manipulative. So there's this energy of watch how people push your buttons and do not let them get to you and do not use both legs. Flamingo's like, I'm going to stand on one leg at a time to conserve my energy, balance it out, make sure that people know that I got what I need when I need it, right? And they also gather strength in numbers, okay? So that means ask for help, ask your friends for help, not necessarily leaning on somebody, but knowing that there is strength in numbers, like flamingos flock and they have that beautiful bright color to basically create this mass, this list, at least from the sky or even on the ground. It's like they, it make, they make themselves look bigger than they are by standing together. So it's not about just trying to do everything yourself and putting all your energy, like throwing it out and throwing it. It's like there's going to be a temptation either by a person in particular or just by the cosmos in general to push all your freaking buttons, especially when Mercury's retrograding in Capricorn, which is our opposite sign, pushing all our buttons to make us do things that are uncomfortable for us, making us get stuck, making us have to look at those details that we sometimes don't like to look at because we're emotional, we're not pragmatic. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be pushing our buttons and and we're going to be tempted either maliciously, like intent, intentionally, or just by, you know, the cosmos, depending on your situation in life, to waste our energy. Don't. The central energy for this reading is stay in balance. Conserve your energy. I know it's going to be a temptation. Be Do it by being around friends. You know, feeling that energy like absorbed from people who care about you. Flocking together, like depending on the flock right and also be able to see things um um like slow ourselves down enough so that we can actually see treasure in that trash heap right understand that fine balance in life that nothing is really ever wasted that our experiences or time even time itself slowing down isn't wasted or that there is hidden abundance beneath us that is always there to tap into. Don't necessarily tap into it. I feel like there's going to be huge temptations this week for us to really kind of um, want to overindulge, but we're going to be wasting our time. We're going to be wasting our time, energy, and money. So the secret here and the warning here is to pull back. If Don't fight with your dominant hand. Don't even let people know you're not fighting with your dominant hand. Understand? Don't give them your all this week. I don't care. I'm serious. I'm just, I'm just laying it on the line. Don't give them your all this week because there's going to be this temptation to really just make you push your buttons and make you fire off and it's not going to be a good thing. So the secret here is to just don't give, don't give them your all this week. Conserve your energy, Cancerians. Conserve your energy. And here we have watch and wait. The energy of Piscean energy, a very supportive energy for us. Slow down, hold back, look to see people's intent. And why is this energy coming out? To warn us, to warn us, because there's going to be something that makes us want to pop off. And nobody, there's no crazy like Cancerian crazy. I don't think people understand that unless they've dealt with a Cancerian. But I promise you, there is no crazy like a Cancerian crazy. So it's almost like it's going to be tried to drawn, be drawn out of us this week. And we have to be very, very careful. So this is remain objective and be, remain observant, especially with this Piscean energy of being psychically observant. What do we really feel? We'll be able to feel the red flag before we see it. I guarantee you. And with that feeling of the red flag, we'll be able to say, no. Nah, now, I see what's going on there. See what's going on there. And uh, maybe I'm just going to call in sick today. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of energy. Please put yourself first this coming week. Put yourself and your energy first and don't let it be tempted out of you. Okay? Let's keep getting into this reading. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know how we want to read this. Be peace. 
This is more Libra energy, upright, balanced. This is also three. The energy of two plus one is three, divine intervention. So you're going to be getting signs and synchronicities, especially with these two psychic abilities here, like psychic energy, Piscean psychic energy, and even Libra psychic energy, because Libras are very in tuned with everybody because they always like to maintain balance between what everybody wants, right? So there's this very much this essential the universe is going to be sending us signs. The universe is going to be delivering those warnings. Please be wary of them. This is divine intervention. The divine wants you to succeed and survive this week, Cancerian, right? Be peace, be calm, be balanced from within yourself. You could even, hold on, let me just see. Ooh, let spirit be your guide. Lots of air energy. Air energy as we enter Piscean season. That's really interesting. It's almost like we catch the tide too slow. It's almost like it, the air energy, this Aquarian energy is like catching to us, catching us up to us once we are almost going into Piscean season. Sometimes that happens. Like we always have this delayed reaction to things. Whatever. Just let it happen. Let spirit be your guide. Once again, the energy of five change, divine intervention and change is going to happen. Um, let's, let's make this change be smooth and enjoy every step of the process. Yes, change isn't always easy, but it can be wonderful if we slow down and make sure that we're controlling the pace of the change. Really interesting, okay. Be fearless and bold. Mm. We have Piscean energy, which is the ending, the penultimate, the completion of the Zodiac, and then we have a new beginning. So. We have this change coming, and then we have a new beginning on the other side. This is be fearless, own yourself, own this energy, this strength, this sense of self, this power in your sense of self. Believe it, own it. And what did I say? Take care of yourself and put yourself first this coming week. This is a really, I don't always give predictive readings because I don't really love predictive astrology. I love it when other people do it. It's just not my thing. I love counselatory astrology to understand people and help them work through their problems. So I, I'm usually not a huge predictor of events, but this is definitely telling me that the way through next week is to prioritize yourself, your own energy, and your own health, and to slow things down so that we control the pace. There's going to be this psychic need in us to take more time to understand things. There's a reason. It's like spirit is asking us to look deeper and take the time to look deeper instead of just oh cancer can you sign this yeah just sign it just just sign it just no don't just sign it don't just sign it if somebody hands you that paper and says cancer can you just sign this be like i will sign it after i've read it i'll be back to you in a couple of days and shut the door like don't just sign anything not in a Mercury shadow period. Are you kidding me? Not during a Mercury retrograde. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't just sign anything. But that's the kind of energy, like I'm saying, is like people are going to try to come at you and be like, hey, just do this. Just do this. Just do this. And you'll be like... I actually don't have time for that this week. But if there's something I can help you with next week, please come back and ask. Please have that energy like embody that empowered energy of prioritizing you and not letting people drain you the reason why you're getting this message is because you're going to need your energy for something more important for you you're going to want it when it comes oh i love that okay mm, you see clearly now this is aquarian energy Full speed ahead, seven, clear the way, see those mice in the dark, being able to see in the dark, use your wisdom. Wise old owl stands in the tree and observes. Those eyes can take in light even in the dead of night. This is about truth, realizing truth, and giving yourself the calm and the space to take it in. You ever see an owl fly at night? It almost looks like a ghost is flying by you. It's so gorgeous and a little bit intimidating. So this is that energy of wisdom, wizened knowledge. Be able to basically believe what you see 
and take in even those minute little pieces of information because you're going to need it all. You're going to need you're going to need the details, Cancerian. As much as we don't like it, we're going to need it. Tend to the small things. I'm so glad this card came out in the Hold on, hold on. There's another card here. Transformation is beautiful. This is awakening. This is why you're conserving your energy for yourself because there's a huge turnaround that's about to happen. And if you watched my daily, go find it on my Instagram feed or my website. It's always posted there, my dailies. If you watch my dailies, Cancerian, there was this message of around July or August, things are going to speed up and actually breakthroughs are going to start being made. So it's during our season. It's got a lot to do with us. So this is like awakening. This is why you're conserving your energy because this is our cocoon phase. You can't give that energy away while you're in the cocoon phase. You've got to use it all for yourself to help yourself regrow. So just keep your priorities set where they've been set on you, on what matters to you. And give yourself time to go over the details no matter how much other people want to rush you. Tend to the small things. Now, this is the energy of something's been building. Little creepy crawlers have been in the walls pestering you, um, adding more, adding more work to your pile. Something has been building over a long time and you may not have realized it because we let small things creep through a lot. We have that very mother nurturing energy. Oh, little mouse, I'll take care of you. Yeah. You just stay here and live in my home and crap in my walls. Owls eat mice. This is the beauty of when these two cards come out together. Why? Because it's us, ta-da, all of a sudden realizing how we've been taken advantage of. And us, ta-da, all of a sudden sight set in, target locked, eh, 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 chomp. People don't realize, like I said in the beginning of the reading, how really cray, cray can get until it's cancer cray. You understand? And we're almost going to be called to get cancer cray this week if we allow people to keep pooping in our walls. You know what I'm saying? That that's what's happening is I think we're going to realize it this week. Mercury retrograde is going to expose all those mice that have been building in the wall because we tried to be nice. And we tried to be like, oh, it's winter, little mouse. Yes, you need a place to stay. And then what happened? They invited all their friends in. Their poop is stinking up the walls and they're having babies. And it's like, wait, I didn't invite all this in my house. But people take advantage, don't they? It's going to dawn on us. We're going to see it clearly. And we're going to be in gobble mode. Gobble, 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 gobble. Why? Because that's what owls do. They eat mice and they see in the dark and they're going to catch that little mice butt and they're going to gobble it up and they're not going to have the sympathy. This is Aquarius energy. They're not going to have the emotional sympathy or the emotional connection or feel bad for the little mouse. Uh-uh, little mouse. You shouldn't have pooped in my house. You shouldn't have been inviting in people in my house when I only let you in. Who said, who said this was an open door? I don't run a bed and breakfast. This is about being taken advantage of and finally realizing it. That's what this is. And what I love is that little mouse don't get away with it. Mm. Mm -mm. Love it. Claim your independence. Dun, da, da, da. This is fire energy. This is feeling a sense of yourself. This is boop, landing on your feet. Three. Uh, one plus three is four. That's right, four. And guess what? Cats eat mice too. <laughs> I feel so bad for this little mouse because Cancerian, there is so much energy going all through your blood this week where you are just being able to suss out what's in the walls. That's what this energy is. You've got the hawk on one side. You've got the butterfly energy of you're changing. You're changing. You're not going to be Mr. little Mr. Nice Guy anymore being a pushover. Oh, no, 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 no. You're bringing your owl out to clear the perimeter of your home. And you got your cat out to clear the walls in your home. You got the predatory nature out to take out those little things that have been trying to take advantage of you. And look at, look at, 
the ma- the cat is like, and look at the mouse. He, he's like, he's about to poop right now. He's about to be like, uh, how, when the cat get here? And here we have dog. <laughs> now all of a sudden, this is like a Warner Brothers episode. Because, <laughs> you know, we deserve the Looney Tunes, right? It's true, though. Something has made us go absolutely cray and hog wild. And it's all about protecting our home. Be loyal to what you love, 10. 10 is something coming to a conclusion. This is an end of something and not tolerating anything anymore. And dog energy says, yes, listen, we're, we're going to nip this in the butt. We're not going to, we're not going to let, we're not going to let the, we're not going to let the owl and the cat run all over us and go crazy either. There's always these checks and balances coming out. So this is like Cancerian energy. Like I said, slowing down and taking time to be sure that we are building a healthy situation. This is balance, finding balance, conserving our energies, and maybe even like, like letting, letting the, like letting <laughs> Letting the owl eat the mice, the cat eat the mice, and the dog eat the cat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let all the craziness happen outside of us. Get it out of our home. And the miracles are endless. This is beautiful energy of spirit being on our side, us being selected and chosen, us standing out. But once again, when we've decided to prioritize ourselves, let the dog eat the dog, let the dog eat the cat, let the cat eat the mouse, like let nature happen, let it go. Don't try to control it, but definitely like call it out for what it is. Look at how wonderful things are. We're going to have enough. We're going to have enough resources. We are enough. We have enough and resources are coming in. It's like, it's like, Call, call in the, call in the, um, what is it? Reinforcements. Reinforcements are coming in. This is definitely spirit having our back. Uh, Taurus energy, uh, five plus one equals six. So, you know, it's so interesting how love is so, how love starts to creep in when we start to prioritize who we are. So often we, we push love away because we're always putting everybody else out front and putting everybody else out first. But when we start to put ourselves first and claim what's ours and claim our space and clear our space, it's so interesting how then finally love can find us. Let me flip the camera around. We have everything that we need. That's what vulture energy, that's the crowning energy that's what, that's what it's showing. But it's also showing that some sort of, the, the garbage is coming to the surface, right? But how can we use it? How can we use it to our advantage? This is definitely a revelation of sorts. How being still is helping to, hawks eat mice too. Ooh, I feel so bad for that little mouse. How really, basically us being able to see. When we, when we, maintain that uh, or or embody that objective perspective how that really helps to embody how it really helps to balance us again yeah we're changing that's what this card is here for it's changing our focus it's changing what is important to us re adjusting our priorities so that we can use what we have during this time so that we don't feel like we are emptied. Could be material resources too, right? Allotting them differently, treating them differently, um, using them differently, prioritizing what we need instead of giving it away to others, ensuring that we have our security. This is seven, this is seven. No, this is eight. So this is, okay. Um, yeah, just like prioritizing our, our sense of ourselves so that we bring things back into balance because there has definitely been a buildup of people of an infestation that is now i swear to god cancerians we're about to lose our shit and we we have i think we have more bullets in our arsenal than anybody knew let's go to the extended i think this is the perfect time for it because i want to and like dig deeper into what all of this means, but also maybe the 
cast of characters. Uh, and also there's this romance reading that's going to pop off as well. So that link is in the description box below, but also for your mobile users, it's in the top comment. I will pin it so that you can easily access it. I'll see you guys over there.